A blessed day learners. Be ready and prepare yourself as we embark, learn, and enjoy this video. This time we study the social science, Spanish-American War, set 3. Be safe, and God bless you always. This is Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 April 25, 1898 The United States declared war on Spain following the sinking of the battleship Maine in Havana Harbor on February 15, 1898. Ikadalawamputlima ng Abril taong 1898 nagdeklara ng digmaan ng Estados Unidos laban sa Espanya kasunod ng paglubog ng battleship Maine sa daungan ng Havana noong ikalabinlima ng Pebrero taong 1898. May 1, 1898 George Dua led a U.S. Naval Squadron into Manila Bay in the Philippines and destroyed the anchored Spanish fleet in a leisurely morning engagement that cost only seven American seamen wounded. Manila itself was occupied by U.S. troops by August. Ikaisa ng Mayo taong 1878 pinangunahan ni George Dua ang isang U.S. Naval Squadron sa Manila Bay sa Pilipinas at winasak ang nakaangkla na armada ng Espanya sa isang masayang pakikipag-ugnayan sa umaga na nagkakahalaga lamang ng pitong Amerikanong seaman na nasugatan. Ang Maynila mismo ay sinakop ng mga tropang U.S. noong Agosto. May 1988 Aguinaldo arrived in the Philippines and continued the Filipinos' fight against the Spaniards. Ikalabinsyam ng Mayo taong 1898 dumating si Aguinaldo sa Pilipinas at ipinagpatuloy ang pakikipaglaban ng mga Pilipino laban sa mga Kastila. June 12, 1898 between 4 and 5 in the afternoon, Aguinaldo, in the presence of a huge crowd, proclaimed the independence of the Philippines in Kawit, Cavite. The Philippine national flag made in Hong Kong by Marcela Agoncillo was officially hoisted for the first time and Marcha Nacional Filipina, Philippine National March, composed by Julian Felipe was played. The act of the Declaration of Independence which was prepared by Ambrosio Rianzares Bautista was also read. Ikalabindalawa ng Hunyo taong 1878 sa pagitan ng alas 4 hanggang alas 5 ng hapon, si Aguinaldo, sa harap ng napakaraming tao, ay nagpahayag ng kalayaan ng Pilipinas sa Kawit, Cavite. Ang pambansang watawat ng Pilipinas na gawa sa Hong Kong ni Marcela Agoncillo ay opisyal na itinaas sa unang pagkakataon at ang Marcha Nacional Filipina, Philippine National March, na kinatha ni Julian Felipe ay tinugtog. Binasa rin ang Act of the Declaration of Independence na inihanda ni Ambrosio Rianzares Bautista. December 10, 1898 The Spanish-American War ended with the signing of the Treaty of Paris. It established the independence of Cuba, ceded Puerto Rico and Guam to the United States, and allowed the victorious power to purchase the Philippines Islands from Spain for $20 million. Ikasampu ng Desyembre taong 1878 nagtapos ang digmaang Espanyol-Amerikano sa paglagda ng Treaty of Paris. Itinatag nito ang kalayaan ng Cuba, ibinigay ang Puerto Rico at Guam sa Estados Unidos, at pinahintulutan ng matagumpay na kapangyarihan na bilhin ang mga isla ng Pilipinas mula sa Espanya sa halagang $20 million. December 11, 1898 U.S. President McKinley proclaimed the policy benevolent assimilation. He emphasized the Filipinos should be trained for self-government. Ikalabing isa ng Desyembre taong 1878 ipinahayag ni U.S. President McKinley ang patakarang benevolent assimilation. Binigyan din niya na dapat sanayin ng Filipino para sa sariling pamahalaan. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from our topic on social science. If you learned something from this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel.